Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Ultimate Frisbee, a sport that was invented at Columbia High School in Maplewood, New Jersey, is very popular for kids here at NHS and in neighboring towns. Both the girls and boys team here at NHS take pride in their sport and have earned impressive rankings throughout the years. To become more familiar with the sport, learn the true meaning of the spirit of the game and how common injuries are, I talked to captains Hayden Felcher and Oscar Fitcher. Yeah, and like a big part of Ultimate is what's called spirit of the game, which basically means like there are no refs, so you do make your own foul calls and you make every call on your own. So, I mean, the, one of the most important things is to like be, be honest and be fair when you're playing. Well, Ultimate is technically a non-contact sport, um, but there is a lot of contact in gameplay. I think last year we had like eight concussions. Yeah, so, and we had like two or three season ending ones, I think. So we do have a lot of injuries uh, that plague our team every year, sadly. In addition to a thriving boys ultimate program, the high school has had an enormously successful girls program as well. To learn about how the game is played, the history behind ultimate songs, and how the girls team maintains a balance of confidence and humility, I talked with senior Claire Babbitt Bryant and junior Rachel Levitt. The way ultimate is played is there are two end zones. It's kind of like a football field, and there's seven people on each team. And the goal is to, to catch the disc in the end zone. And you are not allowed to walk or, or run with the disc in your hand, and you have 10 seconds to throw the disc. The game is played to 15 points usually, and the halftime is at 8, but there is a time cap. So if an hour and a half goes off before um, you get to 15, the game's over. So in the past few years, we ranked top three in the state the past five or six years. And last year, we were ranked 19th in the nation. At a lot of tournaments, there are going to be teams that are like within the top five of the nation. And so we'll be able to face really high competition. Uh, and I think that'll be really good for us uh, to kind of put us in check, yeah. um, not get our confidence too high, but also realize that we can actually stand a chance against really the best girls in the entire country. At the end of every game, we each sing a song, each team sings a song to the other team, um, and it's really fun, and we write our own songs, and they're usually parodies that involve stuff about Frisbee. It's cool because it really reflects the culture of the sport, how we can have an intense game, but then also remember that um, the end goal is to do something that we all love to do. Girls Ultimate faces off against Northfield Mount Hermon tomorrow. Girls Tennis has a game today at 4 p.m. against Longmeadow. Tomorrow, Girls Lacrosse has a game at home at 11 against Agonquin. Baseball also has a home game tomorrow at 3 p.m. against Longmeadow. And boys track has a game at 9.30 tomorrow against Westside. Boys lacrosse are away at 11 against Tantasqua. And freshman baseball has a game at 3 o'clock in Longmeadow. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson.